All right. Hey, Fiberistas. I'm a little early. Maybe not. Maybe just a few seconds early. So welcome. Yay. Sunday. And it is going to be the last live cast of the year. Am I, am I live? It doesn't look, yeah, maybe I am. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So this is the last live cast of the year. And let me just say, I'm just really grateful. I'm really grateful for you guys for showing up and asking all these awesome questions and just being a part of this. So yeah, for the last month or so, I've been in a place of, and I do this all the time. I look back on the year, I look forward on next year and kind of assess uh, what went right, what went wrong, and just in kind of, you know, planning ahead for, for the next year. So, so a lot happened this year. Uh, again, I am so grateful for you guys and for, uh, for you guys being here. And I love the community that we've built. And especially, I mean, not just this live cast. I love these live casts. But I really love what's going on in the Fiber Off Collective um, on Facebook. There's, it's, it's just turned into this wonderful, inspirational place. Another thing that I'm really grateful for this year was this year was the first year I actually started to enter my, my artwork into, into galleries. I, I got into two shows and, um, and that's, that's been a dream of mine. So that, that feels really good. And I feel like I've, I've kind of gotten to the place where I've been working on the work and I'm, I'm really excited about that. I also am really excited about um, the new classes that I released, uh, the Beyond the Basics uh, series. Now, now a lot of you know that I have, and I know it's so confusing and I'm so sorry, I should have named it something totally different. But I had released, like five years ago, I released a Beyond the Basics class and I had taken all the old school weaving techniques from books that I had and kind of revamped it. And when I did that class, I kind of was kind of was pushing to get that class out, knowing that I would need to go back and revise it. So when it came time to revising that class, I realized, you know, there's a lot more information I can flush out. And also having had four years under my belt with that big, you know, beyond the basics class, I realized that it was a lot of information and a lot of people, for a lot of people, it was like drinking from a fire hose. So I decided to break it up into individual lessons and release those classes. And so it's a series of 10 classes and you guys have gotten five of those classes so far. There's another five that's gonna be coming in, in 2020, which I'm really excited about. But basically it's taking the old classes and revamping them and, and releasing them as individual classes because not everybody wants all that information. And then that way you guys were able to, you know, buy what you were ready to learn. So that was a really good thing. Um, and that was exciting. But let me tell you, I tell you those classes, it, it takes a lot to produce them, but it's really gratifying once they are produced. And I know that I'm putting something up there that you guys can go back to. And, and that's been a lot of fun. So I'm really excited for the next five classes that are coming up. Um, and like I said, that's going to be released throughout uh, 2020. So that being said, another thing that kind of happened was I got really burnt out. And I don't think you guys know, but in August, the stress was so bad that I found myself in the emergency room. I thought I was having a heart attack and it wasn't. It was actually a panic attack. And I've never had these before. Never. I mean, never. And... I had to step back and kind of look at, at what was going on. And a lot of it had to do with um, the, the class business that I was building was not sustainable. And, and the stress of trying to eke out a living doing what I'd love to do was just taking a toll. Um, the summer was, was really good. I think um, we were able to make it a little sustainable for a few months, but then after that, it just wasn't. So ever since then, I've been trying to like pull back and, and look at what's working and what's not, and to kind of look at how I can change things. And it, and it's, and you guys probably know, you know, as you get older, managing the stress is a little harder. 
So, so that's what I've been doing is trying to manage that stress and, and deal with all that stuff. Um, so that being said, when I'm looking forward to 2020, I've been really looking at what I want to take forward and what I want to, uh, and what I want to just like shed. And I definitely want to shed the stress, but I also want to, to take forward the sustainability part. I want to take forward the art. I definitely want to take forward finishing out that Beyond the Basics classes. And I'm really excited about the art journal membership that I've got coming up. And that's going to relate to the class that I'm going to be teaching in Taos, which I'm also really excited about. But the thing that's going to have to change, I think, is going to have to be um, a little bit of the, the, uh, of the community building that I have here. Now, granted, the art collective is never going to go away. And I love, like I said, having those classes, but um, as you guys know that I am all about giving you guys a lot of, of, of good information and building that community, but it's going to have to be in a way that's a little sustainable for me. So that being said, um, like I said, this is the last live cast for this year, but I'm taking a break through February, through the middle of February. And part of the reason is because I've got to turn around and kind of put some things into place to kind of make this a little more sustainable. It's probably going to be in the terms of building that art membership and the details will come on that. But the other thing that's happening for me, which is like a totally big change and totally not fiber related, I'm getting my real estate license. <laughs> I know it's kind of like a totally different turn, but, um, as you guys know that when you, when uh, being 50, the career choices are a little limited and real estate is something I can get excited about. And it's also um, one of these kinds of things that is gonna allow me to continue to do the art. So, and what it all comes down to for me as well is I want to still have time to do the art. I mean, the art's really important. I think I will always want to be able to make art. I've always wanted to make art ever since I was a kid. Um, and finding my medium and getting my footing and really moving forward with getting my art out there has been the biggest thing. Um, the classes and the business I built was actually supposed to help sustain my art. And it's kind of gotten a little in the way of the art. So. I'm going to finish out my obligations and I'm going to turn around and turn um, this into an art mentorship. Now, I don't know what it's going to mean as far as these live casts go. Um, it might be more of an occasional live class. It might be part of an offering for the art mentorship, or it might just be videos um, without the live cast. I don't know. Videos seem to take a lot of time too, so I'm not sure what it's going to be. But that's why I'm taking through the middle of February A because real estate school starts in January and I need to learn how to incorporate all of that into what I'm doing. Um, but also to, to kind of take a little more time to think about what this is going to be. So anyway, but don't think I don't appreciate you guys. Um, cause I really do. I mean, you guys inspire me so freaking much and I will always want to be a part of this community and I'll always want to have this community here. I've just got to find a way to make it a little more sustainable for me. So that being said, I'm really excited about real estate school. I'm really excited about what 2020 is going to look like as far as my art goes, because I know that it's turned into something I really feel good about and can stand behind. So that's it. <laughs> that's what I got for you. Um, I'm going to post this in the, uh, in my newsletter next week and kind of let, but you guys are the first to know. Um, and and I'm probably after this going to kind of turn off the comments as far as that goes because uh, there it is. Um, but I'm, I really appreciate you guys and don't think that I want this to go away. It just needs to take a break so I can figure out how to make this a little more sustainable. All right, I'm going to look at the comments. Uh, hey, Epiphany London. Hey, Barefoot Spinner. Hey, Kathy. Uh, sensible. Sounds like a plan very sensible and exciting plan. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll be back. I mean, 
it's just going to look a little different than what it is. Like I said, I really enjoy, and, and YouTube has just been awesome. I love, I can't imagine not being on YouTube just because I feel like I can reach you guys and reach other other fiber artists on YouTube. And it might look like just that I take you on my journey as I make my own art and, and then just finish out these classes and that's about it. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I've got to sit down and and figure it out, but I also need to take time to <laughs> incorporate this school. Um, the It's at a community college and it starts in January and I'll be done by the end of April. And then after that, it, it's gonna involve getting on with an agency and, and getting to work, which will be exciting. I mean, here in the Raleigh-Durham area, um, real estate is, is, is booming. So it's a really good market and I'm really excited. So there it is. All right. I think that's all I got for you. Um, Merry Christmas. Thanks for making 2019 absolutely fantastic. I really have enjoyed uh, getting to know you guys online. And and I really appreciate everything that you guys have brought to this community. And, and I can't imagine not having this community. It's just going to have to reshape a little bit. So. That being said, I'm going to sign off and I wish you guys a uh, happy holidays, however you celebrate. And, um, and I will see you guys. It'll be February 16th. I think I decided February 16th was a Wednesday. And so that's maybe it's when the newsletter comes out anyway, but I will see you guys mid February, um, with an update and let you know what's going on. All right. Thanks again. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.